Gentlemen, it's Paul, combat veteran, MMA fighter, caffeine addict, and now YouTuber. We are checking out today another one of Lazy Purple's awesome videos. This is how it feels to play Pyro in Team Fortress 2. Of course, as always, if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store. I have lots of new shirts that I think are pretty cool. Uh, I'm modeling one of the older ones, but I've got lots of new ones that I've added in stock. Haven't yet gotten the samples, but I promise you will see them in future videos. Uh, and be sure to check out the other second channel dedicated to Warhammer 40,000. Other than that, let's get into it. All right, the Gandalf look as heavy is hilarious to me. Like the ultimate, like Chad Gandalf, love it. This is this is actually how every Team Fortress match feels to me, just because I only have like a limited comprehension of what's happening, so it all just feels like a random whirlwind of activity. There's at least one occasion I ran straight through an enemy team who were so confused at what I was doing that they didn't even shoot me. Thank you. How, how can you eat a sandwich with a gas mask on? As you guys who have been in the stream know, I am not above putting on a gas mask myself while streaming, but it stops me from drinking my coffee, which limits the amount of time I can keep it on. That survivor's guilt's real, brah. I feel ya. Oh. It gets right here, man. It gets right here. That was a recreation of a competitive pyro clip that shows how I like to play the class. I start out by killing this enemy spy because god dang if it ain't my darn diddly duty to do it. But then things get a little interesting. See, I like to play pyro as a kind of support class, so when I see that my big brave heavy is up on the point and taking damage, I spring into action. After getting these two kills, I reflect this demo man's grenade right back at him, force the- Okay, that is something that I've not mastered, is the reflecting grenades, like, instantly. But also, look at look at him. Cries continuously. Defend at the control point. Kill Tim. Defend at the control point. Kill Tim, along with Kegaman. Good name, Kegaman. This scout to 1v1 me, but then see that I'm at 28 health and fire damage isn't gonna cut it. So I risk it all on hitting a clean shotgun hit, and boom, hit it just in time. But then my heavy digs around on point and dies just to give me a sandwich. Why, heavy? I did all of that for you. See, Pyro is one hell of a bodyguard. His guaranteed fire damage and ability to air blast away both projectiles and people make him perfect at protecting a zone that I like to call. Don't touch my baby! So when I see. <laughs> Uh, the psychosis is real. Oh, shout out to Heavy for having the cube and also rocking, uh, like a Harry Potter outfit. Do these outfits just get weirder and weirder? What, what do you, you guys gotta let me know in the comments. What is the weirdest Team Fortress 2 outfit? One of my teammates taking damage, I feel responsible. It's almost like some kind of maternal instinct takes over. Takes over. Part one of how it feels to play Pyro. Protecting your teammates. The, I don't protect my teammates at all. Not even a little. Or, in other words. Don't worry, baby! Mama's coming! I'm here now, sweetie. Mama won't let them hurt you. You get away from my son! No! Shoo! Get out of here! That's right, sweetheart. You just enjoy your sandwich, okay? Oh my goodness! Stop sh this is like the ultimate helicopter parent, right? I can almost feel him channeling like his mom at a school board meeting, being like, he's just specially abled. Calculus is too hard for high school juniors. Shooting my child! And don't you dare 
point those rockets at him. Oh, my aching back. Yes, okay, look. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing mama to a bunch of babies, but I don't say that to be mean. I say it because a piece of my soul dies when Daniel 2015 933 walks right into a bunch of stickies that I failed to air blast away. Don't fret, boy. Wait, can I, can I air blast static stickies? No, I couldn't save the boy. Each one of my teammates' lives are precious, and I will protect them. Okay, they are not precious. Uh, even I know enough about Team Fortress 2 to know that their lives are expendable. Like, like guardsmen in Warhammer 40k. Just boundless hordes. Even giving them a strategy or teaching them to read is just too much effort, right? Hel helping is for... Helping is for elite units that, you know, know each other's names, right? They just need to be, you know, Scout 1457982. And when he dies, Scout 1457983 will be there to take his place for the Emperor. Don't worry, Medic, you're safe with me. Sweet jumping Jehoshaphat, you've doomed both of us. Oh, so close. Man, be more oh. careful next time. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. Then Medics do so much to keep your team alive. It's only right that you return the favor. Although I have to admit, my good intentions are somewhat corruptible. You're doing great, Pyro. Keep on using that air blast. Okay, I, I, I want a, a stuffy, a little stuffed uh, uh, angel Pyro. I want him to give me positive reinforcement when I do things wrong. To save your medic, by protecting him, you're making sure that the rest of your team gets healed. There is no cause more righteous than yours. Hey, thanks, you're right. If you burn your enemies to ashes, they can't even think about hurting your medic. Golly gee, I never thought of it that way. I'll be right back. No, you- Okay, my wife should be the one reacting to this video because she is the psychiatrist, and I would love to know, uh, if that is modeling some sort of like postpartum psychosis or something. Dumb shit, come back! I mean, hallucinations are, you know, visual hallucinations and auditory are actually, yeah, almost always are frequently a part of uh, psychosis. Uh, sorry, so usually severe psychosis. Here! Ha <laughs> <laughs> I love protecting my medic! Got some fuck. Okay, okay, look, can we all collectively give the pyromains a bit of a break? Sometimes you just see a good opportunity to hold both W and M1 at the same time, all right? And the great thing about these opportunities is that you can't even mess them up. Fire damage is so guaranteed that even with his entire team backing him up, this sniper that was owning my team can't get out alive. Sniper it. <laughs> Lazar Purple. Oh my god, I love how he has like 15 different names. That's really smart, actually. I, I That maybe is what I need to like secretly have like an account with no friends so I can just go in and like randomly practice but I feel like there's pleasure in the fact that I have never played Team Fortress 2 off of a stream. I think that's actually pretty hilarious. You cannot stop me! My skill makes limitless! But not every problem can be solved with fire. Psh, you can burn your way out of problems. Listen, if your problem can't be solved by burning something or running away from it or just pretending it doesn't exist, uh, I don't even know if it counts as a real problem. Identifying. Cannot identify. Enhancing. Enhancing. Object identified. Team Fortress 2 direct hit. Di Ooh, this is some good e editing. Diabolical instant rocket ejector carries teammates by harming irritating turrets. Go, go, go! Sentry ahead! Oh no, I have to warn my engineer! Engineer, what? the enemy soldier is using the direct hit. Yeah. That thing can kill your sentry gun in only two rockets. Darn. We have to work together to protect All your right sentry then. gun. Pyro's kind of thick, dude. Oh! 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 Help! That's right, Engineer. I'm here to help you. You do your best, and I'll take care of this soldier. Take that and that. You better run. I don't think he'll be coming back anytime. So oh, God, he's back. How many times are you gonna- Whoa! I was trying to protect. What? But now I attack! Ah, he protect, he attack, but mostly he 
drink Jack. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one. Man, made that up on the fly. No, soldier! Help! That's right. I attack, I protect, but most importantly, I reflect. Oh, that was better. Ah, oh, lazy purple. You're so good. By the way, as always, commenters uh, commenters always say Lacey Purple doesn't like React channels, and I never like third-party reports of like what people think or feel on the internet, but seriously, Lazy, if you have any problem with me doing these videos, just hit me up on Instagram, and uh, yeah, you know, slide into my DMs, and, and, I'll, and we'll take care of it. Part 2, Reflecting Enemy Projectiles Okay, this is the thing that I don't, I have yet to figure out and the chat hates me for it. Or, in other words... <laughs> Yay! Rocket House! Anyone? Holy fucking shit, you kids! Those aren't toys, they're explosive armaments! Listen. They could be both. We all have different childhoods, okay? Someone's gotta teach these kids that it's not okay to play with these things. No, stop it. You have to understand that I'm simply concerned for your well-being. Oh no, you too? My God, don't you realize that this isn't safe at all? I give up, you win! Now you may think my teaching methods are of- Violent, voracious, verdant, void. RTL Hope, 80s cartoon sample, wow. Oh, plus, uh, oh, okay. Bit cruel, but watch. I'm in the same spot against the same soldier and- he Damn, he has like 60 alts. He's 80s cartoon sample. Doom. He comes around the corner with his shotgun. I'm so proud of him, he learned. But some soldiers never learn. In the scary, scary purple is scary, bro. Those, like, his eyes are, like, in that uncanny valley, you know? The the argument that there's a, uh, a, tr a trend line in which robots or other simulcra resemble human beings. And it's, like, there's a point where they don't really look that much like human beings. Like, when I put googly eyes on my toaster, and you're like, hey, that's pretty funny. Or if you're Adeptus Mechanicus in Warhammer, you're like, that's pretty hot. But then there's a point where the toaster has like a mouth with teeth and like really realistic eyes and it gives you the creeps. And then at some point the toaster has like arms and legs and it looks like, you know, like, I don't know, like a, like a cute anime, like Pokemon or something. And then you feel they're cute again. So there's like this gap where it's just like, nope, too human-like. It's really eerie. And then a point where they become so human-like you find them endearing again. This clip, I reflect one rocket, I reflect two rockets, I reflect three rockets, and even hit him! I reflect four rockets, there's no way he would even think of shooting another- YOU FOOL! Wow, that was a shot. I mean, you knew he had to include that. He probably built the whole video just to include that. But the one thing you have to remember is to not shoot at the enemy pyro when your teammates are around. Demo man, you weren't careful with your bouncy balls, and look what happens. Your friend got hurt. Have you learned your lesson? Uh, Is Lazy Purple actually a great dad? Really hit rock button. Jesus, that's so traumatizing. Like, if you did that to your friend, why would you stare at his unblinking, lifeless eyes and hold his dis severed head in your hand? This is how you get PTSD. Oh, bloody hell! You're a devil! A devil! I'm going to strangle you! No, you aren't. I'm gonna beat you so hard, you'll have a twitch! No, you won't. Go to hell! I'm gonna devil. leave now. It is at this juncture that I must reveal my... Okay, that is a great way to troll Demo Man. I want to do that. This is my new aspiration. Bias. Air Blast is by far my favorite part of playing Pyro. I love the challenge of having to switch my brain to the mindset of a demo man or soldier to be able to hit clutch reflex. Oh! 
but it's not just about the reflex. Air Blast can completely stop an enemy push. Off the cliff with all of you. Off, I say. This is now Pyro's Perch. Oh, nice. A, uh, a Mario reference or a... Uh... Look, I just love Air Blast, and it would take a lot for me to give it up. Something insanely powerful. Something... something like... What's this? Build oomph by dealing damage? Ult fire on full oomph to gain critical hits for several seconds? Invulnerable while oomph taunting? Guaranteed critical hits on Pyro is insane. What could the drawback to this be? Less damage? Decreased range? No air blast. What? Wait, what is what is oomph? I'm so proud of you. Okay, actually, that's how you breathe like all the time in a gas mask, by the way. So the idea of these NBC masks, right, is that obviously they're meant to protect the face and they have these filters here on the side or in the front. And the when you draw breath, right the it, it's a two-stage filter usually the first filter filters out particulate and particulate is really dangerous in say a uh, post-nuclear blast environment because even tiny tiny like microscopic dust particles are irradiated and so when you breathe them in they will sit in your lungs radiating well radiation that can damage your lungs um and your other mucous membranes the other problem, the other, you know, reason to, to filter out particulate is that sometimes um, chemical weapons will not be airborne or aerosolized, but they will sit on surfaces. And so even small surfaces may retain some of that particulate. So you use a really fine, like a HEPA filter, or in the case of the Soviets, they used the totally safe uh, asbestos, um, which had the bonus of being fireproof. <laughs> uh, then the second stage is usually some sort of carbon or charcoal, and that is meant to bind on a molecular level with any organic compound. Basically, anything that could bind to your own lungs, like, say, an artificial bacteria or virus or certain types of nerve agents, but not chlorine gas, um, will get bound up in the charcoal. The problem is the HEPA filters or the filters only last so long, and the carbon also doesn't have a very long lifespan. You've got to replace it every about 24 hours of use. So, it, because, it, you know, there are non-hostile germs and bacteria that live in the environment that we breathe in and breathe out all the time. It, they're not really that harmful, but they will still bind to that charcoal. So, even if you haven't been in, like, an irradiated area, you can still run through your uh, NBC mask. The other thing to remember, it, for those of you that are uh, paranoid preppers, is that the 40 millimeter uh, standard threading for NATO spec gas masks does not work on Soviet surplus gas masks. And even if you buy those 3D printed converters, those converters are not fully sealed. I didn't do it for you! Listen, okay, yes, using the flog is really fun, but do you have any idea how many problems Air Blast solves for the pyro? Have you ever tried taking care of a sentry gun with just fire? Let me save you the trouble. It doesn't work! Why doesn't this work? But with Air Blast, you can take advantage of the predictable rockets that level 3 sentries shoot. Come on, that's bullshit. You are a stupid sentry. See, Uncanny Valley, that was sort of an endearing sentry. A little human-like, but not enough to creep you out. I'm gonna lay you out! Air Blast gives you a fighting chance against soldiers that are just outside your range. Do not do it! Oh no. Air Blast can save you from a heavy that's right in your face! <laughs> you are dead! What? Oh, shit! Air Blast can save the entire game. This was a dark day indeed. We had 15 seconds left to capture the point, but oh no! Our demo man blown to pieces! Our medic panics and uses Uber, but we're so far from the objective! Our heavy tries to make use of it, but doesn't make it in time, perishing horribly! Stop! Stop! He's already dead! Dark. 
All hope is lost as we throw ourselves at the cart one by one. Our medic dies tragically. Our soldier dies to push the cart. This is also like the end of Halo Reach. Few inches. I have the chance to win the game with Air Blast right here, right now. But, but, I've run out of ammo. I let my whole team down and there the cart sat, an inch away from success. But wait, a hero perhaps? A sniper and his trusty SMG make a stand. Who am I kidding? He can't do shit. Our demo man jumps back in and he kills their demo man. Their pyro is playing air guitar for God's sake. Surely their hubris will be their downfall. Our demo man falls, but our scout and medic make it just in time. Our medic dies again and dear God, no, they have uber charge. Save yourself, scout. It's not worth it. Go run away, soldier. Live a life of meaning and purpose. Don't God, don't kid yourself. Oh, throw it away here. No, you brave bastard. No, you stupid bastard. Mm. What a waste of good men. <gasps> Unless... Da, 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 da. But most importantly, is a spy about to backstab your teammate? You know what to do. What? No! Okay, uh, this is something else I really want to figure out how to do, which is uh, air blast someone into the air and then continually roast them. You Part three, dealing with spies, or in other words. Ah, oh. wait a minute, this isn't my kid. You know, I like to think I'm a trusting person, but when a teammate looks at me and then runs away, I start to wonder if they're not really on my team. See, Uncanny Valley, creepy eyes. wonder if they're not really on my team. Oh yeah, I don't see you there. No, no, you're good. I lost track of you. Hey guys, did you see a spy around here? I swear I saw a spy around here. I'll kill you! You think I don't see you? I see you! We all see you! I wrote, stop that! Oh, I can't believe you've done this! If you want to, you can make life impossible for the enemy spies, randomly puffing fire to catch them crossing your path, or even going out of your way to sweep the place clean. Housekeeping? Come back later, please. Housekeeping? Go away! You can be so oppressed. Got him. Come on, it is apparently lit, Gramps. He's, these team names are great. That the enemy spy has to drastically lower their standards for when to make a play. Oh, perfect. This is my moment. <laughs> what? I must be dreaming. Oh. Now some spies will try to brute force their way in with the Dead Ringer, an invisibility watch that fakes your death and provides a speed boost. But I have the solution to that one too. Spy NG going to the dog. Good luck faking that death! Ha ha ha. This is so much more strategic than I've been playing Pyro. I've literally been just playing Pyro like a like one of those grill lighters where you're just your goal is to just get close enough to the propane to ignite it. But I don't always want to be looking for spies. I want to spread my wings and fly. I want to set up an ambush right outside the enemy spawn. I want to play the pyro class. Uh, gu guys, there's a spy behind you. He's ki killing you all. Oh God, this feels like it's my fault. Uh, yeah, look, sometimes you really just got to sit around and watch for spies. It's uh, honest work, I guess, but God, I just wish something would happen. Oh, Wait, no. what? There's a spy in this corner. The chase is on. I feel alive. All right, well, that's over. Time to do my best impression of a statue. There's no sugarcoating it. Spy checking can get a little boring, but you have to remember, it's all in the interest of keeping your precious teammates alive. And if you ask me, that's all the reward I need. 
think, hey, remember me? I have a new idea for how to protect our teammates. And, and I, I promise it's not the same thing as last time. Oh yeah? I'm listening. Part four, kill everyone. I don't- Comic Sans, you know we're here for business. I don't know about this. Are you sure this is gonna keep my team safe? Don't worry, it will. Now shut up and go spot camp. Okay, here I come, everybody. Oh my god, they're all dead! Like melted butter! I mean, I guess this is keeping my team safe, but is this okay in the eyes of the Lord? What? Are you kidding? No, you just sold your soul, kid! What? No! But my intentions were pure! I only wanted my teammates to be safe! Yeah, and look where that got you! You're evil now, kid! Face it! No! No! Path to hell is paved with good intentions. Oh! Just one more time and that's it! Uh-huh, alright, kid. No, I'm serious! This isn't me! <laughs> this isn't me! <laughs> That's the spirit, kid. Now you're feeling it! Sorry, boys, this door is closed! Just like the door of heaven is closed to me! It's dark! No, I don't want to be a monster! I want to be good again! Deathbed repentance. Bart Simpson figured it out. I was tempted, Lord, forgive me! <laughs> You get one more chance! Thank you, I won't waste it! Alright, uh, why is our scars look like heavy? Listen everybody, don't be tempted like I was. The fog may grant you fleeting pleasures, but it leaves you completely vulnerable on the approach. Without Air Blast, the only team that you're gonna be crushing is a team that you were crushing anyway. Oh. Like, sure, you'll get some big kills here and there with the flog, but I prefer how it feels to change the entire course of the game by reflecting away two rockets that were aimed at my crit creaking medic, yeet the soldier to his death, and then turn around and air blast this uber demo man so hard out of position that he has to jump away further into his own death. Ah, man, this really be a brow moment. Ah. <laughs> I just love the badly clipped together lines. That That's just great. Oh. I'm actually learning things about how to play pyro, by the way. Oh. But look, you can- But I won't implement any of them. WM1 here and there, and I can't stop you from setting the world on fire. But just do me a favor, and don't forget about Air Blast, alright? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's something I also think about doing, playing Minecraft for the first time. Like, just cold. Just going in cold to vanilla Minecraft. Unbelievable! No. Bedrock! Oh, I'm really here, rock bottom! But have you tried this? But wait! Do you know what I was reading on uh, uh, that Minecraft is the most popular game on YouTube by like an order of magnitude? It's like the next most popular game has like a third as many uh, videos and streamers. It's wild. There's more! Just one week after uploading this video, I will upload a sequel full of extra jokes, animations, and behind-the-scenes goodies. If it's done, it'll be right here. Please watch it, thank you. If it's not there, please subscribe or follow me on Twitter to be the first to see it. Special thanks- Hey, hey, that was pretty fun, man. Lazy Purple's the best, dude. I- I don't know. I should, like, I should get my own Patreon, but then I should also subscribe to his. Um, since, you know, he's doing me a real solid. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching another great- great lazy purple video and uh be sure to you know check out the merch store man help me out support the channel um and yeah until next time i will see you guys later